My name is Elise and I'm a second year Durham University student at South College. Last year I was in a cluster flat room and I filmed a room tour. The townhouse rooms are slightly different because you're in a block of 12 rather than a flat of eight. I share a bathroom with one other person and a kitchen with 12 rather than eight, but it is a bigger kitchen. If I'm gonna be honest, I prefer living in a townhouse. So I thought I'd show you this one. I have included the bathroom in this video as well. And I got probably told off in my DMs last time for not including the bathroom. I haven't included the kitchen because obviously it's a public space. There are people downstairs when I was filming, but you can see it in plenty of my vlogs if you wanna check some of those out instead. And I think that's all for me. So I hope you enjoy the video. When you come into my room, it's a lot more square than the cluster flat rooms. They're more rectangular kind of your average student halls layout whereas the townhouse rooms have a lot more floor space but this does look absolutely massive on camera i filmed parts of it in 0.5 mode so you can kind of see the layout a bit better so here's me standing on the windowsill to kind of make more sense of the actual size i'm five foot six for comparison it's definitely still bigger than the cluster flat room though you don't have the bathroom taking up some of the space in your room it is a slightly different shape it does just feel a lot bigger it feels like a normal room less like a uni hall layout so to the left after coming through the door there's a mirror i've just chucked some fairy lights over that and then to the right I've just got a little bit of a stand where I keep my stuff that I take in and out of the bathroom. There is some storage in the bathroom but I just picked this up from Dunelm and it's just nice to keep the stuff that I don't want to keep in there all of the time like shower gel and that. This is the light switch and the heating. Don't really know why I showed you that. Next to my little bathroom stand from Dunelm, I have this cabinet that took me so long to build from Ikea, but that's not the fault of Ikea, that's the fault of myself. And it's just nice to have an extra bit of furniture in for storage and that. There is definitely enough storage in the room as itself. I just have so much stuff, which as you can see, I just litter across every single surface. Above the bed, there are these two little shelves this might be my favorite feature of south college as a whole i love this little light so much prettier than the big light i hate the big light you can see that i've got my sunset lamp on to try and create a nicer vibe than the ugly main light i've turned the sunset lamp off so you're not blinded by the light but i've just got loads of other random stuff on here i've got this little cat that talita made me i've got fairy lights all the way along and then i have more fairy lights in an old amaretto bottle still life the marriage portrait which was a beautiful beautiful book i just just read it above my bed i've Hung at this tapestry from Amazon. I do believe it was about 15 quid on a gift card. Please don't hate me for supporting Jeff Bezos. I don't try to. These next two posters are actually from HMV. It was three for nine pound. One of them is of Ziggy Stardust, which is my favorite album by David Bowie. And then the other is Doctor Who, which is my favorite show of all time. I am obsessed with it. There's some lovely underbed storage. I just keep my suitcases in there because it's just convenient to stash them away and then bring them out only if I'm going home. Right at the end of the bed, there is a cabinet that comes with the room and a pin board. I've just covered it with loads of photos and as per usual, fairy lights. And then I've got all of my art stuff just stored on top of that because I thought it was a nice place to put all of that. It's got some paints, some sketchbooks, and then I have this little glass with some, again, fairy lights in it and a TARDIS in the middle because I thought it looked a little bit like the time vortex. Not to flex or anything, but my boyfriend made me that crate and carved the little hearts in the edge. I love it. Best Christmas present ever. And then if we follow the very long train of fairy lights around the pin board, we eventually get down to the windowsill with all of my dying plants on it. I've shut the blind for this bit just because it was a little bit more close up. Didn't want you looking into other people's rooms, but it's such a big window. It's stunning. Let's in so much light. And then if we follow the train of fairy lights around again, we will get to the desk. And the one thing I will say about the townhouse is that it doesn't have as long of a desk as the flat because the cabinet is put separately rather than up next to it. Doesn't bother me. I think this desk is really cutesy in the corner, but if you do really want a lot of space on your desk, it might be worth considering that. There's two separate plug sockets on the desk as well as a third over by the bed if you want to charge your phone at night. And obviously all of this beautiful shelving above the desk for storage as well. Those wrapped up books are maybe for an upcoming video. I also just shove a load of stuff on the top of the desk for extra storage. Had myself a little drink station going, but I ended up drinking all of the alcohol and then using all of the empty bottles for my plants but that's okay obviously there's loads of extra storage up here as well i've got these two baskets up here which i just keep bags in and then shopping bags in the other one and then we can move down to this massive hunk of a wardrobe like why does it need to be this big it literally doesn't but you've got hanging space down there and then a lockable cupboard up there i just keep my shoes in nothing valuable don't try and rob me and then we have these boxes that don't come with anything in them. I got a lot of questions about this in my last video. I just got these boxes from Dunelm. I'll put the measurements in the description. Get something like this. If I have any advice for you as a South or Jon Snow student, get these boxes to fill this space. 
I got so many comments and DMs about not showing the bathroom in my last room tour, but honestly, the flat and the townhouse bathrooms are exactly the same. It's got a sink, a shower, and a toilet. And behind the mirror, there is a couple of shelves. I'm not showing you mine because I share with one other person. I'm in a townhouse. I didn't really want to show you all of her stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that had enough information in it for you. You can always drop me a comment or a DM if there was something that I didn't answer that I probably should have done. I'll be back next week with another uni vlog so you can check out the kitchen there if you are interested. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely, lovely day.